ladies and gentlemen, this is Trisha with Insectopia. So now everybody who didn't have labels finally does. So we're going to be able to sort these guys um, by family into the rest of into the rest of the collection. We're looking at the bottom of this grasshopper. All right, if you look here, this is going to be the grasshopper's head. We've got the two antenna. We have the eyes up here. This is actually its front lip. But what we're looking at as the characteristic for shorthorn bent grasshoppers is right here. This is what we call a throat spur. So if you're looking right about here, that's the very, very tip of the throat spine or the throat spur. All right. And that's going to be the characteristic for all shorthorn grasshoppers. They're all going to have this throat spur that helps you identify them. All right. And then right here in between the front legs, if this was a short-horned grasshopper, there would be that spur, right? There would be that spine right here between its legs. And because it doesn't have it, we know that that's not going to be in the same family. This grasshopper right here, this is going to be that lub a lubber grasshopper. He's huge in comparison to all the other ones. And this is that grasshopper that doesn't have the throat spur to accredity. So all of these grasshoppers are actually in the same family in that accredited. They're all short-horned grasshoppers. They're all going to have that throat spur that we just saw a minute ago on the microscope, that long spine on their neck. Check him out. Yeah, so that's a Jerusalem cricket. His head is pretty creepy. I love it. Alrighty. And then, let's see, we have dwarf grasshoppers. Now, okay, dwarf grasshoppers are adorable. He has this really pretty stripe across this as his pronotum, or it's kind of like a shield on his back. Now, on this grasshopper, you can see right here, this plate that kind of looks like a triangle, that's the pronotum. You can see it ends right here, and this is where the wings start. In dwarf grasshoppers, they are so tiny and they're so fragile that that pronotum extends all the way back and protects the entire length of the wings. Those are our five dwarf grasshoppers. So that's the mole cricket that we're going to be looking at under the microscope. All right. And you look, this is its first pair of legs. And you can see all of these, what look like these big spines on the front legs. And these big spines are not for attacking prey, right? These are for digging. So they're kind of used like really big sh scoopy shovels. Yeah, so that's what their digging leg is going to look like. So, hemipterans, for those of you who don't know, are the true bugs. So, true bugs have piercing and sucking mouth parts. And that is the characteristic for the entire order. To give you a rough start, we've got a handful of cicadas. It looks like some assassin bugs. A variety of, variety of stink bugs, guys. Cicadas. So that top one is the cicada, and the bottom one is the cicada killer. And the cicada killer is predatory and parasitic on cicadas. These guys are giant water bugs. There we go. Yeah, right about, right about here, you'll see this tube that's kind of entering the sheath. And that is actually its mouth part. That's the straw that it uses to inject venom. Or they, um, they look kind of like little shields, right, in their body shape. All right, so if we're looking at the underside of a stink bug, this is going to be that long piercing and sucking mouth part that we were just talking about. Little indentations. Cute. All right, so those are stink bugs. I kind of love stink bugs. It looks almost like a stick. All right, so this is a water scorpion. Up in the front of its head, that's its mouth part. It has a long, stabby mouth part. That is what we call a raptorial front leg, or a front leg that helps it grab and hold on to its prey. This long, crazy thing that looks kind of like a tail, this is not a, well, it's not really a tail. It's kind of like a snorkel. 
and there's a little hole at the end of this that's called a spiracle and that's what helps it breathe but I just wanted to say for everybody out there who is watching or will watch in the future um, thanks for hanging out with me I super appreciate it I hope that you guys enjoy some of the content learn a little bit enjoy looking through a microscope with me I think that's kind of a cool part of this whole process you know if you have a if you have a collection this also might help you all right so I hope that you all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your nights, and I will see you again shortly.